Hey everyone, I'm Dark Quarter, and welcome to Nico Power Volume 2. So, last time I finished up Volume 1, and it seems like Kesho uh, was living happily ever after with a chocolate and vanilla. And then apparently the other cat girls were gonna start working at the bakery, so that's where they left it, and now we're going to start this game. Hello? Hello and welcome to La Solina Meow. Welcome to our store. It's time to zoom back, isn't it? Will you be dining with us today, or will you be getting something to take home? Dine in for two. This way, please. I'll be right back with the menus. Please wait a moment. I recommend finest Earl Grey. It's my favorite. I'm personally ordered it for the shop, so you can't go wrong with it. If you would like cake, I suggest a fruit shortcake. It'll go perfectly with the Earl Grey. Uh, Coconut, we have three cakes for delivery. Could you go get them from Nisama? Right away, Shigeru Sama. You have to have it lifting to me. I'm trying to remember all the voices I did for the different uh, characters. I haven't played this in like a week, something like that. Uh, sorry if I'm like struggling for a little bit here in the beginning. Azuki, you're in charge of trying the of tying the gift wrap ribbon on the cake boxes. Ah, what a pain. All right, I got it. Ah, looks like we're gonna run out of ribbon. Jeez, whoever used this last should have at least put in an order for more. Oh, welcome back. Would you right this way, please? Ah, Cinnamon, could you get some arrow bright too? Okay, I'll just head over to Kashu san then. Last so let's open and buzzing with guests again today. Okay, block posted. It looks like there are some customers waiting outside already. So I'll go and organize the line, Shigeru Sama. Ah, we're almost out of change, too. Seriously, is the cashier even paying attention? Soon after Lost Lale opened, with summer just around the corner, the shop had become known as the Catgirl Patisserie and had joined the ranks of the town's most popular shops. Not quite what I was expecting, but whatever. I was pretty worried about how busy we were for a while. But thanks to Shigeru's excellent management, things are running smoothly and we're flourishing. Nisama, we have another online order, so I'll write it down the schedule. Oh, and I noticed that there's now a pet button. So you can pet the different characters. Just click on them and they'll do their meow sounds. Cute, huh? Anyway, uh, right on the schedule. This means we've already hit the month's quote. Hit half the month's quota. Congratulations! It's all because of you, Shigeru. Thanks. I don't really get the in internet and all that, so having you here really helps. By the way, I'm eight years old. Oh, it's nothing. Our success is all because your cakes are so delicious, Nisama. But, 
if you could grant a selfish little request of mine, could you hug me tightly and compliment me as a brother to his younger sister? If that's all, I'll do it as much as you want. Nisama, Nisama, purr. She starts purring like a kakaroo as she clings to me. That's a little weird, Shiguri. Shiguri, my little sister, you are such a cute little thing. And a weird little thing. I'll throw in a free hat head pat for her. I've just updated the blog, so we should be getting some more hits. We're getting loads of views just by uploading pictures of our wonderful cat girls. Ah, who knew advertising would be this easy? Nisama, it won't be long until the last saloon to debut on the world stage. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. What's wrong with her eyes? My little sister's knack for business sure is scary. Though Shiguri certainly has been exceptional in managing her, our online presence. The thought of expanding globally had never even crossed my mind. I just nod along with her for now. Have things calmed down up out front yet? We're still very busy, but worry not, Nisama. Have a look for yourself. I peer through the window into the shop to see how it's going. Hey, Chocobani, when do you get the dishes and utensils out, and when do you set the tables? If you get too caught up with helping customers, things are going to start falling apart over here. Roger that, Azunian. Okay, I'll do, I'll do the dishes too. Oh, mate, could you bring the tea out along with the cake Monsina brought out? The... what the heck? I'm... She's like, um, shortening their names and stuff. It's a little hard for me to catch up with that. Monsina, mind taking over the register? I'll head out and let Nuts take a break. Nuts? What? Oh. Yeah, yeah, as you wish. Yes, ma'am. Was well, Izuki always as confident of a cat girl? She accomplishes her own tasks while delegating work to the others. And they all simply follow her lead. From behind, I watch her working diligently with that always laid back attitude of hers. Well, she is technically the oldest of the cat girls. She's just keeping an eye on everyone. Everyone's got no older and more independent now. But when they were still young, I made sure to look after them all. She may slack off when you or I am around, but Azuki is a cat girl who can handle herself when things come down to it. Now that you mention it, she was always great at taking care of everyone. Though Azuki was quite a handful up until last year. I thought she'd become a lazy little elf for a cat girl all of a sudden, but maybe it's because she doesn't have to look after all. Maybe it's because she doesn't have to look after the others as much anymore. Perhaps having nothing to do forced her to develop the sense of independence. Azuki is a smart cat girl after all. Cat girls have their own way of thinking, eh? I continue to watch Azuki as she works in the cafe, admiring her as a parent with his child. Okay, I need to go cut the cakes for takeout into individual slices. Alright, I'll need to take care of that before I take my break. Hey, nuts! I told you before, but you're really clumsy. You don't need to push yourself, okay? Just haul your butt over to the break room. 
I don't need to push myself. Did you really just say that? This, coming from someone who can't grab tableware from the really high shelves. You're a little shrimp who stands out on tippy toes to grab stuff. What if he drops something and it breaks? What was that? You just me because of my build? Didn't you learn anything from that chance to go get your old beloved, oh so beloved spell? I don't want to hear that from you when you can barely talk like a normal person, Azuki. You wanna fight? Let's go. Right here, right now. Oh, you seem to be itching for one too. You want me to take you... You want me to make you cry in the middle of the bakery? Bring it on your long hair. I'll take it down with one punch. Uh -huh. Like I've ever been hit by a single... Single one of your so-called cacko punches. Meow. 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 Yeah. Meow. Grr. So they like fighting, apparently. Snarl. Hiss. Yeah. Niarg. Gragga. As they break the entire place. Stop it, you two. Guess can see you. Uh. But Azuki, but nuts. Okay. No buts. The fault lies with both of you. Nia. Okay then. I remember when Nachan would call Azuki Onichan. They were the closest thing among all of us, weren't they? When did they become so quick with the bad heads? It's really near annoying. Conflict is born only between two similar parties. There's nothing we can do. Everyone's gotten used to it. But I'd rather save it until after work. The guests don't seem to mind it, though. Maybe they'll stop fighting when they grow up a bit more. Once they've matured, you mean? Cackles and humans have different ways of growing. Do they now? Yes, they do. Seeing Shigeru so sure about it has made me curious. I suppose she is the one who raised these six cat girls after all. Mm. Fine. I'm going to take my break then. Yeah, yeah. We're expecting a rush later, so go and take your break, you big lummox. Ugh. Ah, what the hell? Oh, sorry about that. You were so small, I couldn't see you. My bad. Growl, meow, kiss. And stay right again and break the entire place again. Now you too. I'm starting to get very angry. But Azuki, but nuts. They're going, they're going quite a, at it quite a bit today, aren't they? Ah, I don't mean going at it in that way. It's not like that, okay? I'm kind of confused on her voice. Like, I'm trying to go for like a Wario Waluigi type of thing with her, but it kind of gets confused with what I'm doing with Azuki sometimes, so talk about that. Cinnamon, could you stop? I don't want people thinking I'm associated with you. Master, please make a chocolate cake for chocolate flake. Flesh from the oven. You sure are easy going, my beloved chocolate. 
Look, everyone, the bakery's still open, still open, okay? Well, I suppose I'll turn this into a blog entry, too. Alright, alright. Let's go, let's go. Chop, chop. Ah, oh, Shigeru. Hey, this is an invasion of privacy. Stop taking pictures. But please, Shigeru -sama, not like this. Not like this. Nia. A few minutes later, our blog set counter chat has jumped by leaps and bounds. I still don't get how it was so popular. As I'm all over these thoughts, I once again admire Shigeru's management skills. The intro sequence for this episode. Um. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna take this time to try to explain the voices I'm trying to do for them so that you can hopefully kind of get it. Uh, for Zuki, I'm trying to do like a rough kind of voice because she's like the oldest and seems kind of like the toughest one or something like that. For Coconut, I'm trying to do more of a kind of, well, she's the youngest, I think. Um, she's the youngest or the second youngest or something like that. So I'm trying to go for more of a, but she looks older. So I'm trying to go for a more um, It's hard to explain, but more of a more mature or I don't know, breathy voice or something. I don't know if I'm really hitting that, but I'm just trying to do something with her, I guess. With uh, Chocula, I'm trying to do kind of a Count Chocula type of voice, that kind of thing. And with uh, no, with Cinnamon, I'm trying to do the, uh, uh, Cinnamon is a purple-haired one, I'm trying to do the, uh, the Waluigi Wario type of voice with her. Uh, with Maple, I'm trying to do more of a Southern type of voice with her, although that kind of changes. And with, uh, Vanilla, I'm trying to do... She looks kind of bored all the time with that, those kind of eyes. So I'm trying to do, uh, let's say, a, if you know the the dairy type of uh, characters, I'm trying to do more like a non-dairy type of uh, character with her, monotone type of voice, that kind of thing. And with uh, Shigeru, the sister, I'm trying to do like a British Harry Potter. Harry Potter type voice, that's when I think of with her. So, uh, hopefully that explains the type of thing I'm trying to go with them. It's okay, Coconut. You're doing fine. I'll just pet you. Alright. So, anyway, I, I kind of accidentally skipped that last thing. Ha! Huh. Okay, so she was just, like, breathing or whatever. Alright. Um. Why doesn't anyone... Why doesn't anything ever go well for me? Uh, yo, Ko. Uh. Hello? I don't know why that text stopped, but... Yeah, you coconuts, out. So are you on your break? Oh, and for the main character, I'm trying to do like a Australian type uh, voice for whatever reason. Just to try to give everybody. I'm trying to give everybody kind of like a distinct type of voice, so I don't have to explain it every time. And I'm not very good with voices, but that's what I'm trying to do. So, are you on your break? 
Ah, Kashi-sama. I'm so sorry. We're on break, right? No need to apologize. No, no, I... Um, I... But... Sorry. No, uh, you really don't need to apologize for anything. Her ears and tail flap over pitifully. She's clearly down about something. Hmm, this looks pretty serious. I'm on break, so I'll make some black tea. You'll have some tea, right, coconut? Ah, uh, y yes. Um, are you sure it's okay? I ain't, uh, I mean, I'm not really much help in the store. Ha. Huh? Yep, this is pretty serious. I thought it was just normal cat fight, but I guess it's not easy being a cat girl, huh? As I mull it over, I pour the now seeped tea into a cup. Don't think things, don't take things so hard. The pictures uploaded to the blog were really cute, you know. Oh, I wasn't that upset about the pictures. I place a cup of tea in front of coconut. Taking the seat across from her, I sip my own tea. Push yourself too hard and you'll just end up failing. I'm sure there are things that only you can do too, Coconut. You can think of something to do that's closer to your strengths, can't you? But knowing me, I'll just end up making things worse. All I can do is, like, heavy lifting, cleaning and organizing lines. Why'd I have to end up being such a muscle-brained cat girl? Ha. Ah. She's totally beating herself up now. Coconut always tries her hardest while working. I know she's not as useless as she thinks she is. This is something she has to work out through her own, though. There's nothing I can say to cure her of her worries. I gaze at Coconut, her head hung low as I continue to sip my tea. Well then, wanna go out with me later this afternoon? Huh? Go out. Yes, go out. That means outside. Now, walks outside of the best, right, Master? We're lucky today. This is the perfect weather for cat girls. It makes me want to curl up. We're not going out for a stroll, okay? It's a delivery. Well, if that's the way you make the delivery, it's like we're on a date. Yes, it's practically a date. So, curling up just a little bit wouldn't hurt on... So, curling up just a little bit wouldn't be unwelcome. Hi, don't just curl up right on the sidewalk. Titch, Master just doesn't understand us cat girls. Especially, I especially don't understand those eyes. After the delivery, on our way back, I keep my eyes on chocolate and vanilla as they frolic along. Even as a human like me understands this a nice day today. Why right, coconut? Ah, huh? uh, yeah, you're right. This kind of weather makes me want to curl up. Even coconut thinks that way. Is it just part of a cat girl's nature? I guess it's kind of surprising. Um, sorry, Kashu sama Sorry for making you worry. I'm not particularly concerned about anything here. That was the wrong voice, but okay. We just ate a little stuff to deliver, so I'm really, so I'm really just not eating an extra pair of hands. Chocolate and vanilla have their hands full, carrying a cake each, or holding a cake each. Both Coconut and I are also carrying one each, told them four cakes for delivery. This job is perfectly suited for considering her strength and physique. Seems like this customer bought one of our cakes before and really liked it. They wanted to bring some to a party, so they ordered a whole bunch. No wonder we're delivering so much. If we keep getting this many orders, though, I have to get a car just for deliveries. And then there'll be even fewer jobs left for me to do. Oh, well maybe I can just ride a car in my head. I can outrun a mini truck at least. Uh -huh. 
Uh, hmm, seems like she still isn't feeling any better. I never realized how low her self-esteem was. I thought that bringing her out for a delivery might be a nice change of pace. But I guess it's not working out all that well. Okay. Oh, a master! Look, over there! Nya Nya, that's... Hmm? What do you mind? I follow chocolate and vanilla's gazes. Ask the cat girl, sisters. Good afternoon, it's been a while. Bow. Long time, no see. Bow. Oh, fellow cat girl. Good to see that you're doing well. Bow. Nice to you see you too, mister. How have you been? M mister? Well, I guess I am kind of old from your perspective. Question mark? Honestly, it's a bit of a shock. Well, I guess the age gap between us is significant no matter how you look at it. Who is she, Kashu-sama? She's someone we met a while back. Look, you see that Taikiyoki stool? She works there. I pointed at the food truck, which we haven't seen in a while. Good afternoon, my name's Milk from the Takeoki stand. Uh, I just want to try something here. I can pet Chocola. Can I pet the... Yep, I can pet her too. So I just wanted to check. Onei-chan, you're a cat girl too, right? Just like me, meow meow. Y yeah, just like you. Meow meow. Uh, okay, what's the problem? Hmm, are you no good with kids, Chok- Uh, ch chocolate. Hmm, are you no good with kids, Chok- Ugh, I keep trying to say chocolate. Coconut. Jeez. Uh, I wouldn't say that, but I'm not really sure how to act around them. Well, you know, saying things like meow meow doesn't really suit me. Ah, uh, but I do like kids. I think they're cute. How can it get flustered as she tries to explain? Being flustered is not like her, but she shouldn't worry so much. It's kind of like her to try to do more than she can, though. You'll see. Chuck, Coco-chan is here actually is our big sister. Wow, you're the big sister of these big sisters. Amazing. We have a lot of big sisters, but she's the youngest big sister. The next big sister. Wow, you have so many big sisters. I'm so envious. As they walk backward. Nah, uh, yeah, you know. Uh, you know, I'm not really that great of a big sister. Uh -huh. No, just having a big sister is, at all is already enough to make me envious. I mean, having a lot of big cat girl sisters is totally fun. Oh. Milk. Coconut's expression clouds up. Upon seeing Coconut's expression, the little cat girl gazes up, gazes up at her, worried. It's hard for me to talk today for some reason. It's not fun for you. Even though you have all these great sisters by your side. For a moment, she's at a loss for words. She slowly tilts her head left, then right. Well, when I'm with all my big cat girl sisters, it's fun. I knew it was fun. That's great. I want to talk with your big sisters, too. Yeah, we all work at a place called Soleil, so if you come by, we can chat. It can get pretty hectic sometimes, though. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, I totally want to go. I want to talk with more big sisters. Come on by, come on by. We'll give you some extra special service too, courtesy of all of us. 
Looks like she's back in our spirits. That's good. I breathe a sigh of relief as I watch the four cat girls chat away. Coconut finally has a smile on her face. There's no need for me to worry anymore. Uh, oh right, where's your owner? Doesn't look like she's around. I peek inside the truck, but it's empty. There's no one else nearby either. If this cat girl's here, then that means her master's got to be somewhere close. Master Jack's shopping, so I'm keeping watch for now. Hey, you know what? Master and I thought of a new kind of takiyaki. The only problem is that we don't have the ingredients to make it right now. So I'm keeping watch over the stall until Master comes back. I really want to try them, and I want all of you to try them too. Is she supposed to do that? I mean... Normally you can't leave a cat girl alone unless she has a bell, right? Oh yeah, so you, so you came up with that mug-chan. That's yeah, amazing. Oh, this little cat girl seems to hold many secrets. Master, Chocola wants to know around the clock, but we can't just leave now. Let's skip our breaks, so just let us have one. All right, all right. Keep this a secret from everyone else, okay? Bye. Yay. You lost some too, right, Coconut? Huh? Oh, I... It is it all right? You know what they say, those who don't work, don't eat. And you've done more than your fair share of work. This is only if you don't spoil your appetite for dinner, although, all right? I'll be fine. I just totally love Takayaki. Yay. Thanks so much, Kashi-sama. Hmm? There's footsteps. It's Master. She's back. See? Over there. Over there? Uh, over there? On the sidewalk across the street from the park. There's a single person waiting for the crosswalk flight to turn green. You could hear footsteps from that far away. Oh. You could hear footsteps from that far away. I'm a cat girl after all. I can tell which footsteps are master from a mile away. Mm -hmm. Wait just a sec, okay? I'll go call master. And then she runs away. Master, the two big sister cat girls from before are here. You know, I didn't actually expect to see Milk again. She shouts gleefully. As she runs straight towards her master. Oh, no. Without paying attention to what's happening around her, she heads straight for the other side of the road. Without, reala without realizing that the crosswalk light is still red. Milk, John, it's the red light. Be careful. Stop, Milk. There's a car. Huh? A car? Uh-oh. Who was an editor? Uh, hello? Are you okay? Are you hurt anywhere? After a moment of silence, Coconut's kind of voice rings clear. Huh? Ah? Big sis? Oh, she saved her, okay. Don't you know it's dangerous to just jump out into the street like that? You were this close to making your master really, really sad. Tears well up in the young cat girl's eyes. As Coconut cradles her in her arms as they rest on the sidewalk, her clueless expression slowly melts. Big sister. Uh, um... Wah, wah. Oh, there's no crying over spilled milk. Hick, the big sis. Wah, ooh, wah. Uh, big sis, wah. That sure was scary, huh? Don't cry now. There, there. It's all over now. Don't cry. Everything will be okay. 
She comforts her just like one would their own child. Coconut gently whispers to her, hugging the little cat girl tight. <coughs> wah, wah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wah. It's all right. Don't worry, okay? There, there. Wah, wah. Jeez, she's crying a lot. Well, I think it's about time for me to stop this for today. So let me know what you think, and thank you guys for watching. Thanks for being cool, and I'll see you next time.